Okay. Hey, welcome back to another video, a gameplay video. Um, this is called Visible Solar System uh, for the Commodore VIC-20. Uh, I guess it's uh, one of those type of educational games that, not a game, but a program that uh, kind of teaches you about the planets and stuff like that. I haven't, <laughs> haven't heard of this before, but it looks, I don't know, I saw it in my stack of games. I figured why not go ahead and try this out and see what it's about. It's um, interesting there, kind of before, or it was when Pluto was still a planet, I guess. Uh, as you can see, it's got some pretty interesting graphics for uh, for that era, the VIC-20 era. But uh, let's go ahead and see. Let's fool around with this thing and see what's going on. All right, we got uh, the year, the day, the moons, radius. Uh, it's interesting. It kind of tells you, gives you an idea of uh, the info of the planets. So let's go ahead. Let's see. Let's try this. Let's hit F1. See what that does. Okay. Here, right. Starship coordinates, distance. Huh. Venus, Mercury, Earth. All right. Let's go to computer. Let's try type in C. Nope. All right. Planetary computer. Planet data. Astro calc. Your weight and age. Let's try that. Let's try why. Why not? Your weight. Uh, let's see here. More or less. Okay, let's see here. Let's hit the M. All right, here we go. Uh, whoops. Let's go back. Less. Slim trim 250. That's great. <clears throat> Correct. Playing this on an actual VIC-20, so I've got the typing going. Your age, uh, let's see here. I'm a good mid-30s guy. Perfect. All right, correct. All right, gravity is a force of attraction between bodies in space. The gravity of the sun holds the planets in orbit. Without it, they would move in a straight line off into space. Yeah, there they go. They, your weight depends on how strongly you are held to a planet by gravity. Ah, okay. So, weight 93, you'd be age 140 Mercury. So, based on the info I put in, this is what I would be on each planet. Huh. So from I'm Earth, I'm 250 pounds, and I'm 35 years old. But something like Mars, I would be 93 pounds. Is that right? And 17 years old. Or on Saturn, 296 pounds and one year old. Okay. Wow, Mercury, that's a big, big distance. Boy, 140. I hope to live that long. Well, and on Mercury, Venus. Right. That's kind of interesting. Let's see. Does it have that list of the other planets? No. Let's planet data. Let's try that. Let's go to the planet data. Inner planet. Number one through nine. Okay. So each planet has got an assigned number. Earth is like three, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. Distance to the sun. All right. Interesting little tidbits. Again, this is more of an educational type of game. Hmm. Over at Miles. And again, this is probably... I, I don't know if they've updated the info on all this stuff. This is based on early 80s info at the time. I'm sure they've advanced technology. Maybe they've got a more accurate reading for all this stuff. Again, it's, you know, like, oh, what's the A? Like, uh, I don't know, maybe they, they can measure stuff right down to a, a, a fraction of everything. I don't know. What's that? Astro. Let's see, what's this mean? Okay, yeah, okay, you hit the A button, you go through, I guess, the different planets. 
So let's hit exit. All right. I guess there's just these three. Let's go back to Planet Data. Let's check out. Let's check out Pluto, which is not a planet. Uh, as far as I last I've heard, it's not a planet anymore. Wink. Uh, it's not. <laughs> Distance to the sun. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a big distance. I'm assuming that's in miles. Uh, radius. 750. Oh, that's pretty neat. All right, yeah, it gives you all kinds of little tidbits on that. Again, like I said, this is probably outdated uh, stuff. Let's go. Let's hit E. All right, let's check planet data. Let's see. What's let's check Uranus. Uh, what number is that? Five. That's Jupiter. All right. Of course, you can see Jupiter. Mac, actually, I'll go through all of them. All right. If you want to, you can kind of pause the uh, the screen there. Let me actually move this over so you can kind of. There we go. Adjusting that a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit more of the data. Hopefully I didn't obscure the data. Let's go ahead and go through this, actually. Let's go, let's hit the exit. All right, I'm going to start with one. There's Mercury. And I think if you hit A, you'll cycle through all of them. So there you go. If you need to, you can pause the, the video to check out the data of that. So it's Mercury. Uh, oh. To, oh, I gotcha. It's telling you the, uh, I guess the, from Mercury to Earth, uh, I guess the, the info for that. I gotcha. So within the, the planet that you choose, it's giving you all these stats if you hit the A button. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Or it's just giving you these. Okay. All right, let's exit that. What's number two? Venus. Let's hit the A button. I'm going to cycle through this kind of quick. All right. All right, cool. Exit that. Three, of course, is Earth. Well, let's do that. P and three and Earth. Here's all the uh, stats here. Huh. Okay. All right. Exit that. Number four. There's Mars. All right. Let's exit that. Four. Number five. There's Jupiter. All right. Number six. What's next? Saturn. Let's see. Did I do six already? Let's try seven. There's Uranus. Uh, I guess... There's no info on it. Huh. So I guess certain planets only have all the info. So... Uh, we're lacking info on Uranus. Hmm. Alright, let's exit out of that. Uh, eight... Let's try eight. Neptune. Okay, another one we're lacking info. Oops, let me get back into that. Eight. Hit the A button. All right. And of course, Pluto, which we already did. So some of these planets don't have all the info in relation to the other planets. Interesting. <coughs> Let's exit out of that. So we did the weight and age thing. 
That's interesting. Let's hit the E, exit, see what happens. Um, all right, let's go to P, planets. What does that do? All right. This brings up the graphical graphics on this. And which one is this? Gets a visual representation of it. I guess you have to guess it. It looks like Earth. All right, let's go to orbit. Huh. Uh, let's go back to planet. Let's go back. Let's see what that. All right, there we go. We're switching the planets with the P button. <clears throat> so there we go. I'm guessing you have to guess what planet that is. Because it doesn't say. There we go. That's pretty neat. Yeah, Sat that's got to be Saturn. <laughs> Alright, that's Earth. Hmm. All right, looks like it's only giving you four planets. So, having said that, <clears throat> looks like uh, you're only a limited number of planets that they go in depth with. Huh, interesting. Um, curious if this was like a budget title or something, because it, it's like I said, it's very limited on on the info it gives you. And um, I wonder if there was more to it, like a sequel or something. Uh, in this series. I have to look that up, but anyway, <clears throat> that was Visible Solar System for the Commodore VIC-20. looks like an education type of game. Eh, not not too bad. It's, again, the info is probably outdated and um, very limited, too. So, mm, if, uh, if you want to check it out, it's probably not that expensive, but uh, anyway, that was another gameplay video, if you want to call it that, Ed edutainment video. So take care, everybody. I will see you again next time for another uh, game and maybe a little bit more uh, interaction with it. But uh, hmm, interesting. Take care, everybody.